So this video is going to show you how to create work planes in Onshape, which are basically construction planes, allowing you to um, create a plane where you otherwise wouldn't have one. So when do you even want to do that? You want to do that if you cannot use um, the origin planes, which are the planes that are up here, one, two, or three, or if there's no other planar surface that would work for you, such as back on this surface. So for example, on this simple flashlight here, I would like to add a circular button up on the outside of this cylinder. Um, the cylinder is hollow inside. So it's really, you, there's no plane available to us to create the sketch on there. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna create a work plane or a, a construction plane, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna hit the plane button up here but before I do that, actually, you got to think through what you're going to do. I would like to have a plane. Let me show you what I want. Parallel to this plane right here, but up on this surface so that I can draw there. So in order to do that, I could offset the plane. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. You can grab this. Don't do these steps. I'm just showing you, for example. But now I don't know what distance I want to put this at. I would have to know what the diameter of this part is and i yeah sure i could go look that up but then if you make a change in the future it's not going to be parametric it's not going to change when you change the diameter of this so i don't advise doing that but what you can do for an offset plane is you can do this and you, and you can see that my plane position is changing but what i'd like to say instead is i oh no i don't want an offset i want to actually say plane and point which will put that plane at a location where the point is. Now, unfortunately, I don't already have a point somewhere that references that. So what I'm gonna to do to start is I'm going to create a sketch out on the back of this surface. And I'm literally just going to put a point at the top of that. So let me hit the N key to be normal. And I'm going to make sure that my point is out on that diameter and vertically aligned to the origin, which it should already have been by um, default, which I can tell because it's a black point instead of a blue point. So that means it's fully constrained. So that sketch is done. Now I'm going to create my default or my construction plane. And I'm going to tell it plane and point, which means I'm selecting a plane to be parallel to and a point at which to intersect that parallel plane. And if I give you a view from here, now you can see this plane is right out on that, the outside of that surface. All right, and now that you can imagine the benefit is if I change the diameter of this, this plane will move along with it. So anyway, now to create the button, which you should do and follow along is I'm gonna sketch on this newly created plane. I'm gonna to go to the, uh, actually I can just hit N so that I'm normal to that plane. Oops, sorry. And now I'm going to draw my circle right where I want that button. This button is, let's dimension that at half inch. And it moved it on us, so I'm going to move that right back. Oh, I still have the dimension tool on. And we can set it at a specific distance from the back edge, four inches. And now you can see if I rotate my view, you can see that I have a button or a circle drawn out on that surface. You can see it best from that view. Okay, so now if I want to extrude it and make it come up from that surface, I'm going to say add. Now, the reason it's giving you a problem here is because there's technically, I'm telling you to add to this part. You can see the merge scope is the flashlight, so that means it's going to add it to the flashlight, but it technically doesn't intersect the flashlight in any significant way, because the only way it intersects is it's drawing one line across here. And that doesn't make sense to it. So what we're going to actually do is say a second and well, actually, let's start by flipping this. And now you can see it's actually coming down and into the part. But instead of saying blind, which means you're typing in the distance that it goes, I want to say up to face. This is an important part of uh, the extrusion window. You can tell it to just go up to a face and it will basically extend this um, extrusion up to that specific face that we chose. And why is it not? Let's repick that, see if that's the problem. I would like to say second end position. That's going to be 
Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? It doesn't like when you have a singular point. So let's just go with this. Um, and I don't want that button to be that tall. That would be a little much. Let's see what. Let's make it 0.05. Okay. And just to try to get you to understand, the reason it doesn't let me do just up to the face is because there's a singular point of contact. It's actually a line contact that went across here, and it doesn't like when that happens uh, because you can't technically add a zero thickness to that part. So we can go ahead and check that. And now it actually makes this button be part of this, and that's just what I wanted you to see for this uh, sample case. So that shows you how to use the offset plane. Yeah, let me show you an offset plane and the plane point. Check back for more examples of when you would use these other ones. These were the first, these first two are the most commonly you'll use in class though.